if you have not been following the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial, I will briefly sum it up on what it's all about. A high-profile trial involving actors Johnny Depp, 58 years old, and his ex-wife Amber Heard, 36 years old, began April 12th in Fairfax, Virginia. The trial revolves around a defamation lawsuit Depp filed against Heard in 2019 about an op-ed she wrote about domestic abuse in 2018. Depp says the article irreparably damaged his career. Depp brought a $50 million defamation suit against Heard in March 2019 after she published the op-ed in the Washington Post the previous December. In the article, Heard discussed the treatment of women in essay cases and referred to herself as a public figure representing DV, but did not mention Depp by name. Depp, who said he was dropped from the role in his Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean franchise just days after the article was published, claims the article caused damage to his career. Amber Heard then filed a $100 million countersuit against Depp claiming that he defamed her when his legal team referred to her claims as fake and essay hoax. Because Heard's op-ed was published in the Washington Post, the trial is taking place in Fairfax, Virginia, where the newspaper is printed. Now, the real question is, if Amber Heard lied during her testimony, how would it affect the trial? Miss Heard has already had her chance to testify in front of the jury during the defamation trial Johnny Depp placed against her. As is tradition with the court of law, people who take the stand will have to swear that they are telling the truth and nothing but the truth. But there are many cases in which the person testifying is actually lying. There is always one side that is hiding the truth in order to avoid losing the trial. We still have no idea who is lying between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, but there's evidence that proves the actress has already lied in some instances. For example, that old resurfaced interview where Amber Heard proved she was a Johnny Depp fan that contradicts her initial statement under oath. There is also the makeup company that contradicted her story about a lipstick she wore, but these are so far minor lies about her testimony. What most of us want to know is what happens if the jury considers Amber Heard lied about the essay and DV from Johnny Depp in her testimony. Even for those minor lies, Amber Heard would be committing perjury, which is a major criminal fault against justice. Perjury is considered a criminal act in which a person who is testifying under oath doesn't tell the truth, hides it, or flat out lies in front of a jury. After they have sworn to tell the truth, lying in front of the judge and jury is a major sign of disrespect to the court and the American people. Since all trials are considered crimes against justice, this is also considered a federal crime. Should the jury consider Amber Heard perjured herself in front of them, the consequences could be devastating. Furthermore, if the trial considers Amber Heard lied under oath, federal law states that anyone found guilty of perjury would be fined or imprisoned for up to five years. The reason we stated some lies were minor is because Amber Heard lying about how she met Johnny Depp is one thing, but her lying about the actor committing essay towards her is another. If Heard did lie about this, she won't just risk losing the $50 million trial, but also her livelihood. Career-wise, nobody in Hollywood would ever want to work with her, and society will most likely ostracize her. Here are some examples of the alleged lies, and there are multiple, but I will just mention a few. In opening arguments for the case, Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, held up a makeup kit and told jurors they'd hear about how Heard had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use to touch those up to be able to cover those. Milani Cosmetics created a TikTok video which promptly went viral appearing to debunk Bredenhoff's claims. The kit she showed to the jury, the Milani Conceal perfect all-in-one correcting kit was released in 2017, a year after Heard filed for divorce from Depp. 
Miss Heard is being caught in yet another lie. TMZ obtained a photo of Amber Heard with a bloody lip, which she alleges was from a violent attack by her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. Heard's attorneys tried to submit the photo into evidence, but there were two problems. The first was, the judge said the photo would have to be submitted during the discovery phase. The second, the metadata of this photo proves this photo was taken in 2012, however Miss Heard testified during the UK libel trial that the first incident of violence from Mr. Depp was in 2013. Miss Heard is now testifying that she got her UK dates wrong and obtained a log showing appointments the Aquaman actress had with her therapist, which says she was talking about abuse in early 2012. The issue here is that this trial is focusing on credibility, and between this photo, Heard's claims of her dates and years being mixed up, plus the makeup issue from the opening statements, may be hurting her credibility. Amber Heard also admitted she has not fulfilled her pledge to donate her entire $7 million divorce money to charity. Miss Heard was cross-examined by Johnny Depp's legal team, where she testified that she was unable to give away the full settlement due to the $50 million lawsuit brought upon her by Depp, although Depp's lawyers proved that she had the $7 million sitting in her bank account for about 13 months prior to being sued by Mr. Depp and had failed to donate to the mentioned charities. Therefore, once again, this proves her dishonesty in trial. This is despite Heard publicly claiming on two occasions that the money had already been donated, the court heard. Depp's lawyer, Camilla Vasquez, presented a clip of Heard appearing on a Denmark talk show just after their split in 2016, in which the actress said, seven million in total was donated. She said she donated half to the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Heard also made the same claim during her testimony at Depp's libel case in the UK against the Sun newspaper last year, which the Pirates of the Caribbean actor ultimately lost. After the court heard the clip of Amber Heard speaking on the talk show, Ms. Vasquez questioned, but you hadn't donated your entire $7 million settlement to charity at this point. Heard responded that the statement was incorrect, clarifying that she pledged the entirety. Ms. Vasquez further pressed the actress, asking, try to answer the question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Heard responded, I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another to which Ms. Vasquez shot back, I don't. ACLU Chief Operating Officer Terence Daughtry's testimony proved that Heard had lied in a UK court in 2020 when she said that she had donated the settlement amount to the organizations. In 2018, Ms. Heard appeared on a Dutch talk show called RTL Late Night, where she said $7 million in total was donated. I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. I wanted nothing, in reference to her divorce settlement with Mr. Depp. During Heard's cross-examination, Ms. Heard finally admitted to failing to pay her pledged $3.5 million donation to the ACLU and Children's Hospital after she previously claimed to have made the no donation. Ms. Heard then proceeded to blame Mr. Depp for not being able to donate the money because he sued her. However, the issue is Ms. Heard has previously claimed multiple times that she had donated the entire divorce settlement to charity, including while under oath in Depp's 2020 libel case in the United Kingdom. After losing to The Sun in a libel lawsuit case in November 2021, Depp has gone back to court for a defamation case claiming that Heard isn't telling the truth and has ruined his career. Perjury the offense of willingly telling an untruth or making a misrepresentation under oath. The customary punishment for a perjurer is a fine or jail time depending on the judicial discretion in sentencing. The minimum penalty for perjury is one year and the maximum varies between five and ten years per charge. That's correct. 
you stated you would be donating half of the seven million dollars to the ACLU. That's correct. And you would be donating the other half to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That is correct. And you also stated, with respect to the seven million dollar divorce settlement, that money played no role except for the extent that you could donate the money to charity. Yes, that's correct. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. This is an article entitled, Amber Heard Donates Johnny Depp Divorce Settlement to Charity. Read her statement in full. Is that correct? That's what the title says, yes. You kept commenting about the donation of your divorce settlement, right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show, correct? Uh, I believe I said I had... Um, I, I believe I said I donated it to charity, but it was already printed or ar already commented on and stated in the press. I had already released that information in the press. I think I just confirmed it on that show. You appeared on a show called RTL Late Night, right? I don't recall what it, what show it was. If we could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 346, which is a portion of your appearance on this program seven million dollars in total was donated to i split it between the aclu and children's hospital of los angeles aclu is a human rights organization sorry aclu is a prominent um uh organization nonprofit organization in the united states yeah. it's called the american right. civil liberties union and they work on behalf of marginalized communities uh on the ground and the legislative reform right. and well more power to you because that's that's something that i've never i heard wanted of, uh, nothing this interview was in october of 2018 right miss heard i don't recall when it was it was in 2018 right miss heard i don't remember when this was done. This was after you had received the full $7 million of your divorce settlement for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? Again, without knowing when it was recorded, I have no idea. The $7 million divorce settlement was paid to you in full by February of 2018, right? That's correct. So back to October of 2018, this was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018. That is correct. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. You that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is uh, October, correct. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote, that's, right? That's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety. No, of the Ms. settlement, Heard, seven million to question. charity, and I, Heard, I intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard, that's not my question. Please what try to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the seven million dollars donated, not pledged, donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but I the don't, Miss Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? 
I have not been able to fulfill those uh, those uh, obligations yet. And that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Didn't get it, wasn't interested in it. I loved Johnny, that's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? That's incorrect. You wanted good press. In general, one <laughs> does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. Wasn't my interest. Um, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name. And at the time, I was being called a liar and my motives were being questioned. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was not any doubt that I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestics against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They you were You wanted believable. them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. You never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Nor have you... I ever called myself one. You testified under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. Uh, all right. There's nothing to strike here. No. Ms. Hurt, this is really inappropriate. I, I'll sustain the objection and we'll just move forward. Thank you. Let's move forward. Next Thank question. You. Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurt? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement... When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for the Heard, entire house Ms. Heard, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Heard. All right, next question, please. Thank you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those. So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 million for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. Is that I, correct, Ms. I Hurt? disagree with your characterization of that. Let's look at your sworn testimony from the UK. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Heard? Correct. And this statement was made under oath, true? That uh, is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made this sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four, it says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together, and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. Most of the money that was donated to the ACLU and CHLA in your name came from someone else. Isn't that right? I don't know what you mean by most stuff. And what does this depict? Um, blood on one of the guitars um, that Johnny was apparently trying to play. Okay. Then you didn't try to play a guitar. Objection, Your Honor. What Pulse for any, speculation. I didn't even get the words at this point. Next, your question. Go okay. Ahead. What if any effort did you make to make to play a guitar? <laughs> I've never played the guitar. Okay. I've never played the guitar. I've never played the guitar. Okay. I've never played the guitar. Okay.
I've never played the guitar. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Are you Team Amber or Team Johnny? Let us know what you guys have think about this case. We would really love to hear from you. Let us know what you thought about the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave all your comments in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Twitter, Instagram, and all social media. And until next time, much love. Thank you.